Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the three main 2021 races and giving my opinion on them and basically what's going on. Of course, we got the Virginia Governor race, the New Jersey Governor race, and the New York City Mayoral race. Let's take a look at Virginia. Uh, nothing much has changed, really. Um, we still have our candidates. Uh, Mark Herring has actually dropped out. And we do have some polling. And Terry McAuliffe leads in every single polling. But how much really just depends on uh, the number of people, I guess you could say. But it does seem like Terry McAuliffe is going to end up winning the nomination. It seems like it. It, it seems like it. It does seem like it. Uh, but I guess some close seconds, Justin Fairfax, Jennifer Carroll Foy, you know, those are close seconds. Uh, I don't even know why Lee J. Carter is even running. I don't know why. He has no chance. Same thing with McClellan. These two have no chance whatsoever. They're wasting their time. He's a state delegate. Keep that seat. Like, why are you even wasting the time? Same thing with you. You're a state senator. Why waste your time? Going on to the Republican convention, there was actually the Republican uh, Party of Virginia almost made it back into a primary, almost, but, and based off polling, it, and based off of polling, Amanda Chase would have a better chance of winning than Kurt Cox. But since it's a convention and it's, and we, I guess we're having non-binding primaries, I presume, I'm not sure. Uh, it does seem like Kirk Cox is going to end up becoming the nominee. And we do have a couple of third-party candidates. Not, you know, they won't make a big deal. But um, Denver Riggleman, former congressman, who got uh, beaten out by Bob Good in a convention. Uh, it seems like he's might run. And if he runs, then Kirk Cox stands no chance at winning the governorship. I'm going to say likely D for now. Uh, Kirk Cox could make it lean. He could. But, and if Denver, if Riggleman runs, it's safety. But as of right now, I'm going to say uh, McAuliffe wins by 7 or 8 points uh, for right now. Going on to New Jersey. Again, nothing much has changed except uh, Jamel Hawley, I think it was. Uh, they have stated that they will not run it was a she, was it? No, that wasn't Jamal. No, it wasn't Jamal. Not him either. Okay, it was a female. I can't remember their name. But she had decided not to run, so she's declined to run. It was a woman, I can tell you that much. Uh, I can't remember the name. But she, in my opinion, was the only chance at, a pri at getting a successful primary on Phil Murphy. Phil Murphy, not that popular, uh, really. And Jack Citrelli is still, in my opinion, the front runner in the Republican primary race, uh, but Joe Piscopo, who, in my opinion, actually has a chance to win. I think he has a chance to win the election, in my opinion. And, but it seems like we're getting C.A. Torelli versus Murphy, a rematch. I don't see C.A. Torelli winning. I don't see him making it close. I think he could get a, a bit closer by, like, a point, but he'll still be safe. Uh, going on to new, the New York City race, we do have some changes. Uh, the field has lessened, if you can't tell. Yang, in my opinion, is still the front runner with Sean Donovan very close behind. Um, and Scott Stringer close behind that. This withdrawn candidate, Zach Escal, has dropped out. Corey Johnson, he's dropped out. Carlos Menchaca has dropped out. That was very recent. And Lori Sutton has also dropped out. So, you know, you know these people, they've already dropped out. Uh, Yang, in my opinion, the front runner. Now let's take a look at the Republican side. We do have more Republicans running. A one more Republican running, Fernando Mateo. Um, in my opinion, I think Mateo's got this. I think Mateo will end up winning the nomination. Uh, Slua, not really big name recognition. Mateo's got a lot more. We don't have polling, so I could be one hundred percent wrong on this. Uh, Andrew Giuliani, still considering a run, apparently, I don't know, I don't think he's going to run, Randy Levon, anybody want him to run, no, David Sambadi, Samadi, you want him to run, do you, okay, but I do think Mateo will end up winning the Republican nomination, and I think he'll make it close, but I still see it safe deep, I think it'll be under 15, just not above, not under 10. 
But anyway, guys, this is the 2021 election so far. A blue wave year for Democrats. A wave year for the Dems. As Republicans fail to garner any sort of nominee. Jeff Van Drew in New Jersey could have malvoyed that, but it doesn't seem like Van Drew is going to be running. But anyway, guys, this is the chaotic one saying peace.